Oh, oh my god, that says I'm behind you. Bro, clear as day. That's scary. Oh, holy. Holy what is that? I want to get out of red. Oh my god, that makes you just want to stop filming. Either way, it's over here, so if I hear spiders in here, whatever. All this is inside the garage. Where'd you go, bro? What a mission. I know. Ah, damn. All this to find ghosts. I didn't sign up for this one. <laughs> oh my God. Underneath all these leaves and dirt, it's still a stone road. You can kind of see, Josh, here, the glow of the city through these trees if you turn your light out. Oh yeah, if you can see any of the lights, look how high we are now. <laughs> Ain't it weird how a place with a decent view of the whole city is left forgotten about. That's what I mean, this is probably a prime location. You don't have to worry about cars screaming past your house, you know, interviewing from neighbors. Don't know why this became abandoned. Well, I do now. But, yeah. <laughs> but we'll save that for now. Waking up. Getting a bit more secluded now. You can see we're quite high up. If you look at the drone, I mean, look at this. It does look amazing. It's very secluded. So don't forget, this place was built in 1910, before the city was a flourishing city. Well, we're on the outskirts. There's some spiders over there on the side. Small though. So, that's not exactly what we're looking for, but it's up there. Look. Very old traditional building. Still part of their family. Everything's just stored here. Yeah. A blanket? Hey, look at this. Twister. Huh. Japanese twister. Didn't even know they had a Japanese twister. Me either. That's cool. Wow. They have a lot of stuff here. And to be honest, this place is not sitting in like a bad way. It's so preserved. For still being in a city and everything's just staying here preserved shows that no one wanted to come here. They're afraid to be up here. The old chairs in there. There's a wheelchair there as well. Yeah, so my guess is they had a lot of family staying here, so when people were dying off inside this this land that they, they have, they probably built an extension for like their older parents, which could have been this house exactly. That's just a good point. Yeah. So remember we just seen this. There are pots of ink on the floor there. 
these are pots of ink there. Now remember we've seen that, I've got a story to tell you. So we just heard what was sound like a deep laugh. Unfortunately I wasn't filming. Typical. We've got a saying as well. Hi. What? Sound like a sound like someone's riding a bicycle. So that's someone's riding a bicycle, you know like when you ride a bicycle and then you don't you don't pedal and you hear that the drill of the chain going zzz, Yeah. That's what it sounds like. You just heard it. Just heard it behind us again. I can't believe there's like, even a house built up here. Are you sure? There's no house here. No, there has to be one down here. There's a, a greenhouse. Let me try some more. Is there anyone watching us? that doesn't want us to approach the house. Did you just whisper? No. I heard a whisper. You would have caught it on my camera if I did. I didn't. After you said approach the house, you didn't say nothing? Nothing. I swear I heard someone whisper. Nope. Has to be on video. It could nope. be someone just with us right now and you're hearing it. I just heard a whisper. Well, I, I was filming, I didn't hear it, so you would have heard me. If I had whispered, you'd have heard it clear as day in my camera. Dude, I'm telling you, I caught it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the history before I step foot inside the house. But one thing I will say is, as a Jura, Jura was the person who owned this. The Jura family was here for a long time, and they did not like the Americans and the British. Obviously, back then, with the Japanese, we were kind of at bow with them, and uh, there was talk of the plans of Pearl Harbor inside this house so when we get over I'm going to give you the full history. King has not worked since we got up here. It says I'm in the city when really I'm way inside here in the haunted house. My tracking is not working at all. What the hell? Yeah. Now it just disappeared again. It doesn't... Now it says we're in a whole nother area. What the hell? That's what I'm saying. It's been jumping ever since we got here. So I don't know. Okay, so guys, I am outside the property right now. Inside there is apparently one of Japan's most haunted houses. This place has been abandoned since 2005 and no one has come near it since. None of the locals want to come anywhere near it. No one wants to build properties on this land because of the spirits that are said to reside inside here. So, Azajira Yura was the original owner of this place, built in 1910. He was here until he died in 1964. The Yura family were involved in a lot of political stuff and a lot of governmental stuff as well. So originally they were making, trying to make dyes, but they were trying to get stuff off Germany in World War I. But with World War I going on, uh, the, the Germans didn't want to give up any, so he had to make his own. So he finally came up with a pattern to make his own dye, which the government loved. He then later went on to make acids for the government during World War II that helped with bombs. So he was, he was awarded certain uh, medals after this event because without him, they would have really suffered. During which, in World War II, he was friends with generals and stuff. They were said to have spoken in this house about Pearl Harbor. So, with that being said, an English guy, an American guy walks into a Japanese guy's house. It sounds like a bad joke, but I think that something's going to really take off in here. Because when he died in 1964, they were still not keen on the Americans and the British. I mean, even down to the, you know, the Industrial Revolution, they weren't fans of us when we were giving weapons to the Chinese. So I expect this place to be horrendously bad. And we weren't even meant to be here. What we'll say is Dave and Steve were here yesterday, filming during the daytime, and they said it's one of the worst places they've filmed. Dave actually caught on camera. I'll, try, I'll show it now. I think he's going to be kind enough to let me show it. And we might give a bit of an interview with him too later on. But he had a light bulb drop out of the light socket right in front of him. And he said there were bangs and all kinds of stuff going on in here. So we were like, right, okay, we're going to come and film this as a paranormal. So guys, without further ado, let's go inside Japan's most haunted house. 
I mean, this whole shrine looks amazing. And the fact is, though, it's still almost somewhat cut. Like, as if people were actually here. Yeah, look at all this. It's all fr freshly snapped and stuff. Yeah, actually, I don't know. Unless the dark, imagine, imagine if the dark energy is so strong, nothing can grow. Like some crazy, crazy creepy stuff. Well, yeah, but look, nothing is, is growing awesome. this way. Look at this. Everything's snapped that leads over. Even these bits that would hang over. Look at them. They're all snapped. Yeah. That's been cut, bro. Yeah. That's actually been cut. Now, the, the, the descendants who own this property will not come in here. No, they don't but come. But maybe, out of respect, they might just trim the edges, you know, not, to true. not piss the whole to place off. To kind of maintain off. it. Yeah. Yeah. That's very true. <laughs> All right, this is it. <laughs> okay. Let's get in here and see how this is going to go. We are now walking into house built in 1910, formerly house of World War II fights against not only us, but the Chinese at the time. Is this place haunted? We'll find out now. I How? feel eerie already yeah, though. Yeah, I was about to say. It's a bit eerie in here. If there's any of the Euro family here, we don't mean you any harm. But just know we are in your presence right now. And we'll be here for a few hours. Alright. Just wanna as we walk we listen, you know. Look at this. My god. Some of these objects could even be haunted. Mine's a fatal frame. A bed. really deep Does a it? lot of rooms oh yeah so it does very traditional here though it's amazing wow still has stuff in the cupboards there's gonna be a lot of residual energy in here I think so well, a lot of their objects are still in the cupboards is it yeah Look at a lot of their stuff is still here. Pictures of their uh, family members. Could have been going back, you know, a hundred years. I wonder if that's uh, Yura himself. As a Jira Yura. It, it, I mean, I have no idea. Yet. It's kind of cool. Well, yeah, considering it's probably one of the ones that they might have been... Uh, Supporting. Using to demonstrate Pearl Harbor. Actually. You don't know, I mean that's so, old. Well that's the thing, so there's supposed to be a room here that they, that they did it in. It could I, be this one. I would say this room. It could be this one. There's, there's two, I, I don't know. It, it's hard to say, we'll keep going though. It's really cool to be inside a house like this to do a ghost investigation. Well, this has got to be the first one we've ever done. It is. It's the first probably one on YouTube. I was that's, about to say that. <laughs> that's the thing. Not to talk shit or anything, but... No, but really. it's true because, I don't know if you've told this, but the Japanese people are so superstitious. When they believe the house is haunted, they put them up for sale and they're so cheap. The only people who buy them, funny enough, are Westerners. They buy them to fix them up and live in them. It's very true. But yeah, they abandon all things if they believe it's uh, haunted. So... Oh, it's that alarm. Yeah. It sounds like a whale. So technically, yeah, we are the first ones to do a paranormal investigation of this house. We have done some research and not seen anything else, so should be interesting. Okay, so this is where the light bulb fell out of. And as you can see there, smashed on the table. I mean, I would hate for another one to fall out while you're deleting footage and not recording, Josh. I'm just saying. So if you wanted to do it now, now would not be a good time. <laughs> you heard what that? What was that? I'm hearing, you're hearing the footsteps. Yeah, well, I heard a boom. And yeah. it was like... 
creaking footsteps. And it was just as I was kind of like, oh, Josh was deleting footage off his camera. And this is where the bulb fell out and smashed on the table while they were filming. Yeah. Look at right there. Don't know if she's told that story yet. Yeah, well, they're gonna, the viewers seen it in post. So they've seen that the, the, this is the light bulb that they're talking about most likely. And as I was winding up saying, you know, now's not a good time to do it if you want to do it. It sounded like someone was approaching. Yeah. Where are you? Are right there, like going like that, right? Yeah. As a Jiro, Yura, is that you? Just set up my base here. Yeah, no, I was thinking this is a perfect base. At least, at least put our bags down. Okay, it's a good thing. It's always good to keep rolling. That's the whole thing. You just don't know. So we've just got some taps here now as we're bringing this up. And this is the exact spot our friend Dave was here yesterday filming, where his, his light dropped. Who are you? Is that a whole voice? Like a screech? Yeah, like, no, no. Yeah. If it was a person, it sounded like a woman. Are you a part of the Euro family? The Euro clan? I'm from America, the United States, and we're in your house. Where can we get some stuff out? Yeah. Or we should just kick straight into this. I know, we haven't even, maybe we should see the, the rest of the house should just to be sure. And then we pick our places where to ghost hunt. Yeah, okay. I'll Either way, that. we're 100% starting right back here. I just want to see where we are. We don't even know what the house has to offer still. That's true. This is just hitting right off the bat. So it's pretty crazy right now. Yeah. Like, I see the flash and I was like, whose land is that? Who's yours? All right. Yeah, I purposely left it on just, you know, just because. <laughs> just because. All right. Well, this room's all messed up. Oh, wow. It's all locked. They had a lock here. Like an actual safe, bro. Bro, it's still solid. People have been trying to pry into that, I think. Oh, I bet. Yeah, watch yourself to the left. It's falling through. I know, this whole place is dark. Just crumbling. Why is this all smashed right here? Wow. This is a bedroom for someone. Might be worth uh, doing something in. Could even be his room. I mean, I don't know, but... Someone's room. Piece missing. Back. 
Why the hell would someone do that? It's been binded. That's a bit weird. It's unsettling. Yeah. The thing is as well, bro, is we're wearing our shoes inside their bedrooms. Inside the whole home, in fact. Which is a massive sign of disrespect. But obviously we can't help it. Yeah, I know, that's the thing. It's... I, I never normally sneak around like this, but I'm paranoid in this place. Like up here, mate, there's like a, a second floor that has... Like yeah, but look at the state of the second floor. Okay, that's... Yeah, yeah, these are steps. Nice. Yeah, it's like a big meeting room. It's gotta be up here then. No, that's the attic. It can't be it. So where the fuck would it be? Maybe there's another section. Section to the house. Look. The furniture now. Oh, there's a whole TV. Oh wow. Oh, an old Sony TV. It is changing, the house is changing. Yeah. It just went from traditional and old to a whole new Whoa. area. Almost feels like we're in a castle. Yeah. You got a castle vibe in here. But look at this, they still look at the way they've made it. So they were still making houses like medieval England here in Japan in, in 1910. Because look, all these pieces, it's basically just twigs of mud. So what is it? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, that's how they've made it. I was right. Like, it's kind of crazy. I didn't even know they still did that. It's very old, traditional, in its own way. Look upstairs, though. Look at it. It's all red. Like red carpet. Like a castle. Like, a, like Literally like a castle, yeah. And it is old, man. It, it, this, it just feels haunted. Oh, my that's God. That's the whole thing. It even has the look of being haunted. Look at this, there's a bedroom! Gotta be careful right here. Now I'm not even gonna walk in there. But it's an old, it's a bedroom though. Almost like a Resident Evil. Bro, this is the meeting room I think. This would be the meeting room. Think about it. If Holy talk about, crap. If you're talking about Pearl Harbor attack, wouldn't you do it in here? Well, look at the state. For a Japanese house, this you doesn't. Can tell it's like meant for a general. It doesn't feel Japanese. No, it's not. It's Western. Oh, watch out. Hunt some spider up there. Yeah, that's fair. We'll just have to avoid it. But, yeah. This is probably where the meeting room happened, bro. I okay. agree. So they, they must have had servants here as well. If you look there, they've got a serving hatch. So as people have stood here, they could, they'll go to the hatch and be given drinks and stuff. So wow, so it must be really powerful here. Well, remember, they're, they're serving the government for the wars and helping them with everything. All the money they're, they're selling and all their products. That's a good point. Yeah, we're going to do a ghost hunt here and in the other room. And there was a bedroom down there. Yeah. I think that's where we should do it, on those three yeah, spots. Yeah, it's like a living space, uh, living room, bedroom. And this. I think, yeah, I think they're the, the best places for residual energy. Yeah. That's kind of creepy. The woods are taking over this place. There's another bedroom. Fuck. It just gets bigger and bigger Whoa. this place. This is the master bedroom then. Is it? Well, I mean, all their stuff would be right here. I mean, I don't know, if I was, if I had a bedroom, I own this place, I would have this stuff here. Yeah. Even this creepy doll, man. Oh man, doll, not dolls. Look at him though. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of funny, right? So how many of my viewers know how to use this phone? How would you use this phone? I've seen a funny video where people didn't know how to use it. I didn't even know how to use it. How would you use this phone? <laughs> I, wonder how, I wonder how many viewers know actually how to use that phone. <laughs> it's a bit of a relic, guys. Perfect. 
Shit! That was blue. Last time it was green. In terms of different levels on how they touched. The REM pod. As soon as we place that down, I don't think they like that. If you don't like that, if you don't like the music, if you press this, we'll put it away. You gotta make the noise though. Now we still got the one that Josh broke. The one I broke still was working. It is great because it does. It still works on vibration. So if you turn yeah. it on, and maybe that one could go by that door down, like kind of like near here, maybe over there, something. Look at this little table. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, on the table right there is cool. Right, so look. <laughs> It takes a considerable amount of uh, vibration yeah, to set that off. You have to tap the, the freaking thing hard. Yeah, so, just so you know, uh, secondary, should we put it on the table? Put it on the chair. If this someone sits down, oops. just in theory. On the other chair then, sure. Also, does your camera pick up if something goes off over there? Yeah, it will do. Yeah, that angle? Yeah, it sees all, it sees all oh, this. It oh, sees okay. your camera too. Oh, good, good. See what? Traveling, so I I'll put that there. Slow so look, I'm walking past this REM pod. It yeah. doesn't go off. Oh yeah, no, that's that's not gonna go off by you. That's for sure. Just for people who are a bit skeptical. Mm. Okay, we've laid some devices out. Oh, maybe maybe we introduce ourselves. Oh, <gasps> oh, oh, oh already, bro, bro, already, and I just said that. Dude, I barely get any of that stuff to ever go off, ever. And you, we've shown everyone how hard these are, are yeah, to go off. Yeah, you just knocked that whole thing for it to go off. <gasps> Someone has continuously got all of it, bro. Someone just whistled? Look, they've gone away from me. If, if you're there, can you... Did you just whistle? <laughs> Like they got attention. I heard like they shook it twice and left. If you if you like that life, maybe maybe you're not an adult. Maybe you're a child in here or whoever else. If you do like these lights, you can set a, an abundance of them off. Every device lights up in some way. Some of them make noise too. Maybe maybe do a tap and, and do a text. And say something. Oh yeah, good, good show. Be like, hey, introduce yourself. Be like, you're from. How do you, you know, how do you feel about us being here? He's right. You ready? Mm -hmm. Do you like the fact we are in your house right now? You ready? There's a bang behind you. We want you to come forward and we will not be leaving until we have spoken to you. Maybe we can they can ask us what year it is. Um by grabbing by grabbing something. Um or walk past what year is it? Do you think the year is 1946? <gasps> Bro. Like is that 1946? Yeah. They just pretty much tapped when we said that. 1946. during World War II.
When did he die? 1964. 1964. That maybe he thinks the year is 1964. Although he's attacking that. Uh, we'll, we'll need a DR60 to determine that, I reckon. Actually, yeah, we could. I'll put the DR60 around the table. We could ask ask them to speak in what, what year they believe it to be. Yeah, let's do that. Recording. Now. I placed a device on the table that I'm pointing at. It's a voice recorder. It will allow us to talk to you and hear you. Because we can't hear you right now. But if you can talk into that device on the table, we can. Can you tell us what year is it right now to you? Do we have a family member from the Aurora family? Is that you walking around us? Finally, if you would like us to leave, I need you to really shout into the device, leave. If you can't understand English, can you just say in that device, Konnichiwa? Is that you setting off the flashing light? Did you make that go off? footsteps a lot of walking footsteps. around knocking all going off and notice how the REM pod's not going off yeah there? that's insane all right picking up some really good stuff right now let's go listen to the stack all right here we go That's the clearest yes ever. I just reset the whole thing. What was that? I think I heard Konnichiwa in a girl's voice. Bro, we ran that shit. Holy shit, I've got goosebumps right now. Me too. Me too. Bro, it says Konnichiwa. It really does. Oh my fucking god. Yes, I did, and then I picked the device up. Bro, rewind that. It says Konnichiwa. It does. No, it does. Holy I'm gonna rewind shit. it. We just got the person literally saying Konnichiwa, so it's not like it's all English. I literally hear Konnichiwa, and then you just said, are you the one that made the flashing lights? And it said, yes, I did. Watch. We're gonna play it back right now, clear as day. 
So what the hell? Are they they, they got a universal language. It, it, it might be that. Right, we're gonna fast forward to the end. Big knocks. Yes. yes. Watch this. Yes, I did. Yeah. Yeah, but it's just, it's just control. Yeah. No, oh, right here. I don't. I hear Konnichiwa. It goes Konnichiwa. It really does. And we and there's a bunch of. Whoa, big cat right there. They're right over here now. I hear the oh, I feel a really cold breeze, bro. Yeah, I feel it too. Which reminds oh me. Oh my god, I was just gonna announce that. Which just, reminds me. We just looked me. at our, our eyes both lit up at the same time. Are <laughs> oh, you bring it up first? In sync, right? So, first time ever, we have a FLIR camera, which is a thermal imaging detector, so we can determine cold spots, heat spots, fluctuations in temperature, and also like, say for example, a really cold breeze goes past, we can determine how, how much colder, how much difference it is. So we have an ambient temperature reading, like a baseline reading, and anything fluctuating from that is considered to be abnormal. So it's a great experiment to, to test, especially I've done it once before with Elton, right? And he never put the video out because nothing else happened on the video, but it was the best ev evidence we ever caught. And it was with a flare? It was with a flare camera. And all I did is I held my hand down and I said, if you're here, please touch my hand. And then my hand started going, going bluer and bluer and bluer, cold, like it was a like cold. Like a cold breeze. Yeah, I could feel it going around my hand, and you could see it on the flare camera. Wow. So it's a great thing we can do, great experiments with that. Now let's, let's see it. I'm going to pull it out my bag. All right, it's recording. Oh, we have to get out of, uh, how do you get out of night vision? Oh, just slide it here. All right, it's red. Oh, my God. All right, it's red. All right, now... Now it works. <laughs> yeah, I can. You see, it's, it's giving me an average. So you've put it in your temperature range, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. It's fair. It's in Fahrenheit now instead so, of Celsius. As you can see, you can clearly see Josh is outside too. Well, he's looking hot there. Either way, I said to give it a sign on the ball. I said to give. I said to place the ball. If I, I don't even remember what I said. Something about put your hand. Give me a sign on the ball. The REM pod's hot? Yeah. Well, they touched the REM pod too. Oh, I can see the screen now. Hold on. You can't ball. I'm trying to show the screen. It's recording though too. I think your screen's recording. Why is that blue? Why is that? Oh shit! Okay, that's bad. Why is that cold? The REM pod's going off. And there's heat as well. There's, there's hot, hot and cold. I'm recording the screen. Yeah, you got cold. You have a, a cold front. Is that where the ball the ball is there too? Look at the, the REM pod's going off. Bro, if I, if I'd say something, it looks like a hampering almost. It looks like a cold hampering. Let me calibrate that again. It's sensing something. Yes, that's cold. That's very cold. It's cold, right? So look, I'll show you what happens. Might look how hot my hand is. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you have a hot. That's hot. But what's this was, and that's cold. a cold. That's cold. It's a cold spot on the table. A huge cold spot. It's weird. It's red in the middle. It's somewhat hot in the middle. And that's right where the ball is. So they must have listened to me. Look at see. You can still see my handprint. Look how hot that is. Let me see. Oh yeah, your handprint's super hot. But that's what I mean. You had a cold print. Here. 
hearing something. That's my camera. Look. If anyone is here, we have a device, and you can actually show yourself. We'll be able to see if you just stand there. If you, that was you, if that was you that actually did put a cold handprint or a cold print or something next to the the ball. Can you put your hand and touch the horse so we know that's you listening to us? The horse that's right on the table that I'm pointing to. So we know that was you. I'm pretty sure you definitely did put something or touch something right by the ball like I asked you to and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Aigato Kazamas. Can you do it one more time, but touch the horse for me? Yeah, like I said, just touch the horse. It looks warm over there. That's a weird thing. Unless it's just or the REM pod. I mean, whatever, but the horse, I mean, if you can really hear us. Come on, I need to touch something. There's a, there's a heat spot. Is it? It's calibrating, it said. Yeah, there's a heat spot. Oh my fucking God. Oh! Holy shit! Holy oh, where fuck! where is that? Dude, that's the bit best in like that's a huge ass handprint. No, where is it though? It's not on the it's not on the horse. Wait, it's not on yeah, wait. It's so hard to use this shit. Oh my god, that is amazing evidence though. It's there. And that's cold, right? That's that cold. Is, bro, that is Put your hand cold. on it to compare so we can show. Look, <gasps> Look at the difference, Look cold and hot! State. Holy Oh my shit. god! That's scary! That's scary. Bro, that that is. is. It's a bang. Big bang after. Holy shit. I mean, I don't know. Bro, I, I can't this is some of the craziest evidence we ever got. How the hell do you explain that? That. Wow, they have a lot of power, Bro, though. They've got big handprints, though. Like, wide handprints. You're recording it, right? That's all recorded, so they're going to see yeah, it. Yeah, I can record it, yeah. Yeah, it's recording. I love this tool. But that evidence is crazy. First off, all right, before they even say how can we fake that, your hand has to be cold. You need coldness. That what, is impossible. We can't, we can't pull that off. We can't pull anything like oh that my off. God. Bro, the They're place, walking and everything here. I, it's, the place is getting active. I can... Yeah. Bro, this is, this bro, is so good. Long. This is so good. My mind is absolutely... In pieces right now. That means that something of a different world has touched that. Like oh, 100%. Like not of our realm. And that means they definitely did listen and they touched the, the Wait, orange ball. Why didn't they touch the horse? I don't know. Because that's what we asked. Maybe, I wonder if they can't. But that, the, the table no, because the table. Object. Yeah, that is definitely just an interesting. It's still there. The heat signature is still there. Wow. Wow. Dude. Mind I, blown. That is so good. Mind blown. This is so good. I don't know. I want to use this way more. Bro, we should. Can you touch? Can you touch one of us? Actually, check me. Is there anything different? It's all heat, right? Yep. My God. Let's have a look. Can you... It, try, I'm turning around. around. Yep. You are clear. Nothing on me. No. Let me let me see. Touch touch Dan. Don't. Can you touch Dan? How's it look? You're very hot. Hey. <laughs> I mean, um, it literally does detect you. Mm. No. No. Nope. Nothing on you. Yeah. Well, is that still there? Is like just just for the the sake. Wow. It's starting it to fade is, down. Yeah, whatever it was, yeah. It's 
it's starting to fade. That cold. Oh, you can almost imagine. make it out. Wow, good stuff. All right. Bro, we, we, we let's, do this all the time now. Yeah. All right, well then, let's um, get out of red. I want to get out of red. Oh, wait. It's, bro, there's something else really cold over there. There's like a shape of a figure. Actually, it actually is. Hold on. Are you over there? Oh no. I think that must lead to the outside. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that's good for a second then, because it was like a, an actual figure stood there. Alright, I'm back in infrared too. Whoa. Oh, what? shit. No, sorry, bro. Fuck. No, see, it detects heat signatures via reflection as well, so. Oh, it's. See, oh. I can see your reflection. Oh, oh and the, yeah, you're right. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. I, I really love this tool. Really we cool. just got some of the coolest <laughs> evidence. How many other times this has happened, but we've never had the equipment to detect it? I know. Cold spots. You know, you feel, oh shit, I'm feeling cold yes. around my legs. Imagine if you've got a big ass cold hampering on you. You, don't even, you can't detect it, but you just know that you're feeling cold in your legs. It's happened many times when I've been doing this, that you feel cold around your legs. Yeah, no, this is some of the coolest evidence and memorable evidence. It's different. We don't. People don't usually get it. And we're here still. Things have been going off nonstop. We have the, the movements, the, the cat balls, the REM pods. Everything's been going off in this room. But I want to go see more to this place. So I'm going to ask the people where they want us to go, if they can. Maybe, they, maybe they'll want to show us something. Yeah. All right, we're going to switch. Okay. All right. Um, thank you. A little REM pod beat. Thank you so much for the, the handprints. You've been really communicating super well with us. We want to know who you are um, and where your room is or where do you want us to go. But before we ask you that, we want to know, is it true that you guys were talking about the Pearl Harbor attack in this house? Creaking footsteps from behind you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bro. Oh man, that's really good. Seriously. That is really good. They were definitely talking about it. Uh, they're, they're, it's like they're okay with it almost. I wonder if they uh, were at peace after everything 20 years from after the attack? Maybe. Is this... What's his name? Oh, um, as, as a... As a Jiro... Yeah, Yura. Yura. As is, a Jira, Yura. Is that you? Sorry. It's hard to pronounce your name. That was me. It's hard to pronounce your name a little bit. Can you, write, can you make the REM pod go off if that was you? You've been really good to us, talking to us this whole time. Just one more time. There's creaks from everywhere. Might not be him. So, you know what? If you're not going to make it go off through REM pod, if you want to, that's fine. I'm going to put the EVP down again, like you just talked to us earlier. You said Konnichiwa very clear. Catball going off. I want to hear their voice though. This evidence is amazing, but. I just put the device down. I know you just lit the catball up again. Thank you. But are we talking to you? Can you say yes or no? And if this is not you, state your name. Have you just walked into the room and sat down at the table because we heard you? Can you please tell us if it was you? Can you tell us, are you trapped here? Is it okay if we go upstairs to the Pearl Harbor meeting room?
Right, we're going to come upstairs. If there's anyone else in the property, be warned, we will be walking through and we are going to come upstairs. Are you mad at us? Are you happy that we're here? Notice how that's not that was, going off. That was going that off was, on command. Bro. That was amazing. Look, it's not going off now. How do you explain that? That was amazing. It was on command everything. That is so good. That cold handprint, this. We're getting some of the best stuff in this room. Well, for those who know about cat balls, you know if you've got them yourselves, you might have them thinking they're just a cat toy. These only go off if you touch them. You have to br bridge oh, the yeah. connection by shaking it. There's no other way for it to go off. Oh, 100%. I know. And, and and spirits are meant to refract like a vibration, you know, so that's that's how they go off. Really quick, I'm going to play this back, but if you want us to leave, we'll leave your house right now. Just make that turn on. Either one. It's actually funny because I just heard a tap in that, that room. Or are you enjoying us being here? Do you want us to stay? If you in want us to stay, please set one of those off. We need to know. Unless they've just literally got up, walked off because they're waiting for us upstairs. Yes, bro, I really heard a tap. That was as if yeah. like they're like, yeah. Wandered off. Yeah, it was... What was that? It was someone's name. It says, it says, bro, that was in an English, that was in English. We listen to it again. That says, I'm behind you. No. L bro, listen to it again, I promise you. Listen to that shit again. Fuck, man, that's scary. Listen. It just stopped. What? Play it again, but it stopped. Oh, that's weird. Bro. Oh my god, that says I'm behind you. Bro, clear as day. That's scary. But it almost sounds like a, a different accent. I'm behind you. Oh, 100%. What was that again? Oh my god, that makes you just want to stop filming. What did you say? I don't know. Alright. Fuck, that just scares me. Alright. I'm behind you. Okay. Yes. Said hype. Yeah. 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 Said, are you mad at us? I said, yes, 
But bro, I'm behind clear as day. you was it's unbelievable. Like, clear as day. I'm behind you. And dude, the other one, it's Can like, we listen to that one more time? Okay, we could. But bro, at one point when it was agreeing with us, it said hype, like yes. And I heard it in Japanese, the hype, yeah. hype. Oh my God. Just let, let me listen to that one more time. Cause the voice, really quick before we pause it, I know we just got some amazing evidence with the fan prints. I get scared really bad. And those who watch me, I only get really freaked out when it's like I sense evil because sometimes it will happen. We all sense it. Or EVPs. Yeah. They scare me so I'm much. I'm the same, bro. Do you remember St. Joel's? Oh, in the my, UK? I was, oh my the God. EVPs, bro, I didn't sleep right properly for a week. Because it was, I don't know if you remember, recall that episode. It was like, you're a bitch. I know. It was clear as day. The most that was the first time TV I've piece. ever stopped. Yeah. That was that was before the DR60. I know. Yeah. Before we even we used DR60s. That. We were using Olympics and stuff. Yeah. All right. Let's play it, that, that bit one more time. And then I'm, we're still going. I, we should even ask. Now I don't even want to. I want to just go no, upstairs. We'll go upstairs. <laughs> uh, I will explain to you what a DR60 is in a minute. <laughs> Okay. I'm behind you. And it sounds like a Japanese accent. I know. Oh my god. Fuck. Wow. I mean, the taps, the handprint, the on command talk with the cat ball, the REM pod. This is one of the craziest videos right, well, no for evidence so. ever with the best Class A EVP. Class A. Oh Nothing else has gone off, though. It's like they've wandered upstairs, you know? The music box hasn't gone off once. I'm behind you, as in, like, go upstairs. They're following us. Bro, fuck. It scares the shit out of fuck. me. Bro. Place is getting me freaked out yeah, now. Just a bit, just a bit. But, oh my God. All right. we have to go to the Pearl Harbor room, though. Let's go. Right. This is, this. And they agreed with us. They they weren't joking. No. They 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 said beep yes. Like this is the Pearl Harbor room. Everything was on command. All right, let's go. Let's, I'm gonna keep. We'll keep. I'm gonna keep this recording in a way. I'm just gonna put this one down. Let's kind of just pack up, put our stuff in there. We we'll bring up our equipment upstairs too. Yeah. Okay. For those who don't know, this is a Panasonic DR60, uh, first released in the late 90s. Now, this device is, well, was meant to be just an ordinary, um, you know, record voice recorder. Business people would buy this and they would, you know, be sat at a desk recording themselves, talking, you know, making logs, whatnot. But six to eight weeks into the release of this product, Panasonic recalled it. They recalled every product to be sent back for a full refund. And it's because they had hundreds and hundreds of reports of when people were recording themselves talking and listen back, they had their own voice, but in the periods of where they stopped talking, it automatically stops recording. It wasn't. There was other people's voices, other people talking on it. So they, they just thought it was broken. But turns out for some reason, this device he right here can tap in and can really pick up EVPs, people who are not there. I've seen this work uh, beyond anything, uh, any other paranormal equipment I've ever seen. Uh, inside uh, the, the Edinburgh vaults, we had some seriously crazy EVPs. And uh, Josh is fortunate enough to own this because, to buy this, because of its rarity with them all being recalled and because of its uh, paranormal value, these retail at over £3,000. So... I'm going to quickly pass it back over before I drop it. Because <laughs> I have seen Josh drop it once before at the Nottingham Castle. Justice Justice yeah, Museum. Justice and I'm not even joking. It was like watching a kid crash, drop his favorite toy on the floor after Christmas. <laughs> it's slow motion when it, it felt like Oh, it was motion. horrible. Yeah. And it you were panicking. So, so rare. Yeah. Four years, man. But yeah, that, that's the rundown on the DR60. If you want to know more, just Google it. There is YouTube videos about it. You know, people have gone into lengthy detail on that. But let's get up to the Pearl Harbor room. Perfect. Water gear, we're switching back to this camera now. Um, it's good to switch it up a bit, right? Um, I'm starting to feel like they're getting energy off of the color red. I'm not sure, but everything we've been doing red has been really good. Yeah, it's hard to say. Yeah, it's just an idea. Um, we have everything, right? We just cleared this? Yeah, yeah pretty okay. much. All right, we'll come back for our stuff. We have REM pod. 
Everything up? Yeah. We got everything, bro. Okay. All right, now I have to remember how do we even get to that room, bro. Um. What? We're going upstairs, don't we? Yeah, let's go okay. to Pearl Harbor. Right, we are going upstairs. Fuck, this place is scary now. And remember, there's someone that's... Uh, is it not this way? Yeah, it's over here. What? Yeah, down here, to the left. I thought it was this way. Is it? Yeah, it was this way. Oh, okay. Remember how the guy said he's behind us? Yeah. I wonder if he's gonna follow us. I think he's already gone. Like right now. Just the aesthetic of this place. Now we're doing new paranormal, it feels even worse. Yeah, I know. Well, now that we just kind of opened up that, that portal to allow them to talk to us and yeah definitely think it's going to be different you think we should leave our music I almost want to leave something by the stairs yeah pointing down the stairs yeah we're turning it on now it's recalibrating there we go just like the last time we literally did this before of course now it works yeah perfect Okay. It's much faster now, we're putting new batteries in though. Yeah. If there's anyone here, we're into the... We're heading upstairs into the living room, where we're calling it the Pearl Harbor room, where you guys are talking about to attack us. You can meet us in here if you want. That, that huntsman spider's moved. Yeah, do you know where? Yeah, there. Oh, fucking hell. We just gotta be careful. It's not like he's gonna bother us. I don't know. Remember the last time one jumped on you? It's true. <laughs> it's true. I'll never forget that. Okay, so we've just put everything down. We put a REM pod over there. We've got a cat ball K2 meter here. We have the ghost cam over there. Um, and, uh, oh, the music box on the stairs. But I will say, we just have the huntsman jump down on the floor. We don't know where it is, so we're on our on the watch as well for the Huntsman Spider plus <laughs> Ghost. All right. But Josh is going to kick start it with this. Spirit Talker's going. All right, uh, you're a family. We came upstairs to the Pearl Harbor room. You did tell us yeah, downstairs by lighting up the flashing ball that this was a room where you guys talked about Pearl Harbor. Um, are you the one that talked about Pearl Harbor, the one we're talking to? You can light up the devices, just like you did downstairs. That one, or the one on that table. You told us to come upstairs. So are you still are you still following us? Is there anyone else in the in the upstairs part of this house that may reside here who haven't hasn't spoken to us yet and uh and wants to or doesn't want to? We just need to know that you're here first. That flickered green for two seconds. Oh, that's good. The K2. Nothing crazy, just flickered green. I, I, see and I will say this, my phone cannot set that off at all because it's on fly mode constantly because I do not have roaming data here. So yeah. I have no internet and no nothing. Very true. Only when I got my internet box, which I don't have. Bang. I don't know if that came right here. I don't even know. It's all right. It's like it was upstairs. What's the guy's name again? Uh, Yara. Aja, as, as a Jiro? As a As a Jiro? As a Jiro. As a As a Can you give me a sign to know that you're here? We've been talking to someone and I haven't really made it clear if it was you or not. Can you state if that's you? As a Jiro. And if I'm not pronouncing your name right, but you understand me. Can you give me a sign? Well, 
Whoa. Wow. You won't even believe this. Wow. I had my spirit box muted, spirit talker. Yeah. And it literally says, I know you, and it says yes. And I don't know if it answered exactly what we needed to answer because look at it. It literally says yes, but I had my thing muted. So it could have actually stated what we wanted. <laughs> Classic Josh. I messed that up. But it's proof that it was right there, just so it says. Can you, can, can you give us a sign again? Can you give us another yes? Or, or make one of the, the lights goes off, like you just did. I just seen it go green. You can touch that one too. It's a, it looks like a remote controller, like your TV downstairs. Can you touch that? Share my message. Share my message. What okay. is your message? Share my message. I'm gonna give him. I'll give you the voice recorder. We're gonna. I'm gonna share your message. Share your message. I'm gonna put it on this table. You can say your message right now. Say what you have to say. Is there any of the Euro family here? We come a long way to talk to you. Did you share your message? I'm going to stop it now so I can press play and hear it back. I'm going to play it back now. Did it, say, was, did it say get out at the end? There was another voice after the witchcraft. I know thing. it was. I was. It's hard to hear. Oh. Now, let me get to the very end. Someone's watching. Someone's Someone. watching. Is it the person that was behind us? Hang on. I'm going to stop it now. Someone's watching. All right. Let me pause this. Okay. Someone's watching. Now I'm going to ask them who, who's watching. Who's watching. And share your message one more time. And place it on this one just in case. I'm recording again right now. I'm placing it on the table. You need to speak to us through that device on this table. Who is watching us? What was the name of the man who said that he was standing behind us? Are you mad that we're inside the Pearl Harbor house? The Pearl Harbor room. Is that you touching that device, setting it off? So Bro. first off, I didn't remember. I turned that off. I know. I know. And the know. first thing was listen carefully. I just stopped using it. How did it turn back on? I don't know. 
And it turns, it turns around and says, listen carefully while we're recording. So I'm, I'm interested in that K2 meter's going off. I'm interested to see what it's going to say after that then. All right, let's hear it. Yeah, the K2 is spiking a bit. All right, let's play this one back. What the fuck was that? I think it said his actual name. Like, bro, bro let's listen to that again. Bro. Dude, do you hear his real name? Your, bro. your, your. Bro, what the it fuck sounds like he's say? saying a name. I'm not because hearing. A I'm not. Yeah, now I'm not hearing as I'm listening as a as a Jira or whatever. But I'm hearing another name. It sounds yeah, Japanese it says or something. something. Yeah, I heard it. And that was doing that when that was flashing. I know because it was before it said that. Um, so listen carefully. So maybe he's not unless it, unless it says listen carefully after it already said that. Oh, we're just getting to it now. Yeah, yeah. No, maybe, maybe it did that and then it came from that, like, listen carefully, because it just said something in the device. Maybe. So that's, that's But we need to, we should listen to that again later on. In the room? Yeah, when we, when we get talked back to base camp, we should listen to that again. I'm down. Okay. So, but, weirdly, REM pod's not gone off. Yeah. Can't bolt that. K2 is spiking. It's going oh, to yellow. Sure, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's going to yellow. So maybe sitting by it, as he was talking to us. Oh! <gasps> Oh my fucking god. It just spiked and Bro. then the page lifted. Yep, yep. It's going to yellow. So maybe sitting by it as he was talking to us. <gasps> oh my fucking god. It just spiked and then Bro. the page lifted. He's talking to us. <gasps> oh my fucking god. It just spiked and then Bro. the page lifted. Bro. Bro. I just saw it move. Yes, I see it. I had it on video. Holy shit. I caught it on video too. I that spiking. And we had no win, bro. There's no nothing. wind. It went yellow and the page lifted. That is crazy. Bro, this is genuinely haunted in here. Like, this no, is, it is. This it is, is. actually haunted. Well, it's going... Oh, it just went yellow again. Fuck, I missed it. Whatever, whatever. So... I'm it. almost like I don't give a fuck about spiding after that. This well, that was amazing. So it's going yellow again. So are you, are you here? Can you can you grip the controller? That's green. Can you grip it? Hold it. Give it give it all your energy. Or oh, do you want to turn the page? Can you turn the page on the book for us? That would be really impressive. You just moved the book. Can you do it again? Now we're getting the taps again. The fuck was that? Bro, what the fuck was that? It's a woman scream. Sound like a yeah. Sound like a woman. Could it only thing is it could have been an animal. I don't wanna say it wasn't, yeah, but it sounded like a woman. I mean we are in the woods, but it did yeah. sound like a woman. Also, if there's anyone outside, you're more than welcome to come into the room. We're going to have a meeting. Anyone here, step into this room that I'm in, the second floor. We're going to sit and talk. So you can definitely come upstairs if you want. And stand and watch us by the door too. Okay. Um, 
One thing that sucks is because we're in Japan, we didn't bring all our devices. So it's really yeah. hard to kind of keep working with some of our stuff. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, I mean, we brought as much as we could. I mean, yeah, I know. My bag was like exploding. With you know what? I'm surprised it didn't even stop me in the airport. Put it on the book. Are you upset that we're in your house? Do you want us to leave your house? Do you like the Americans? Were you happy what happened at Pearl Harbor? Do you know that you're dead? Are you in heaven or hell? When I die, am I going to go to heaven? Quite a nice, nice, right. nice long one. That was a good. I will say as well, I'm not necessarily just asking about Pearl Harbor because we're in Japan and Josh is American, but there was genuine talks in here about Pearl Harbor well, before remember it happened. Well, downstairs too. It was just yeah. I just want to make the that evidence clear. was insane. Yeah. True. All right. What was that? What was that? That's a, that's Japanese speaking. But what do they say now? Pow? Ow? I don't know. What was that? Some weird responses there, but again, we don't know what it says. Yeah, like it sounds Japanese. Yeah, like you really heard like our uh, pow, like a whole nother voice. That was a whole nother. Yeah, that was a voice I've not heard before. Yeah, but it was definitely Japanese. It could. It could. That was Japanese. If anyone speaks Japanese, <laughs> yeah, please help us out. Yeah, here. what was that? Honestly, what if we shut our lights off for a second and you tell us something? Are, are we hurting you or something with the lights? Do you not like the lights? I'm shutting the light off, and you can speak to me.
Is this what you want? The lights off? Where are you in the house? Alright. Just for the, was a test. I had one time I filmed a video where they said they wanted the lights off. Really? When they were off, it went nuts. Let's just hear it back. Last EVP. It said no? It said like no or yes? Quite a lot there. Yeah, what the fuck was that? There was voices there. Yeah, there's a know, bunch of stuff. It's hard because it feels like they're, they're talking in Japanese now. Yeah. Well, if you guys can listen to back, let me know what you think it says. If it wasn't Japanese, can you also hear it? Let us know. Um, it seems like, yeah, I think we need to get out of this room. This is actually kind of a dead room. Yeah, I Nothing agree. like downstairs. I really wow. thought, I mean, they even confirmed it downstairs. What if it was, they weren't allowed up in this room and yeah. it was someone else. It wasn't the head house guy. Could have been it servants. someone else. Anyway. Servants. And those are who are talking to well, us. Well, servants weren't allowed in. That's why you've got that hatch there. I know. So it kind of makes sense. No one, they weren't allowed in this room, and that's why they're not talking to us. We need power. We need power. We need power. And we're talking about why they can't talk to us. Just because we need power. I don't know. Let's see if it your could... hair. Just take a piss out your hair now. <laughs> yeah. Dang. How about in this room? No, nah, it's bedroom, bro. Way more scary. Just as we're setting up. Just recalibrated. Here we go. We have something facing us right now. Can you step away? Yup. Whoa. Yep. Shit. Can you can you join us into the room first? All night. It hasn't gone off. All night, and now it does. Yep. Whoa, 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 hold on. Uh, Rempod's got. Rempod was going off too then. I heard it. Look at this. Yep, music box is going off. Got it on record, it's staying here. Yep, you joined us. You, he must. They must have missed us, dude. Did you miss us? If you missed us, can you step step away from that again? Hold. Oh. It kind of did for a minute. Come to me instead. Come here. Avoid that. Rempod is oh. going off. Rempod's going off too. No. Fucking hell. I've not even set up properly yet. Oh, this is good. All the evidence is down That's here. going off again. It didn't go off at all up there. Told you, whatever it is, it's down here. It's moved away. It just proves it's all real stuff. Holy shit. All real stuff. Look, I've got, oh. I've got my hand full of device I've not even put out yet. I had a really cold breeze on my back then. Yeah? Unless they touched you. 
Bro. Dude, we're, we're surrounded by people. Hey, I'm gonna record. Yep. Bro, you best stop, dude, because look at the state. I want to play something, though. Alright, alright. Recording. Hold on, I'm setting this up. Who are we talking to now? Bro. They're talk they're this is too insane. Right, let's I can't even do anything. If you were here, can you approach that now and set it off for me? Come away from that and set the REM pod off. Yeah, stop that. Turn this off. Get away from the sound. Come away from that, please. Right. Oh. Yep. Now can you set that off, please? Oh! Bro! Oh, Holy God. shit! Yes. Oh my god! Bro. <laughs> oh, I just don't... I, my hair is oh. just stood on end. I can't even... What are they doing? Oh, my God. Told you whatever it is is down here. All right. It's not up there. By the All way, right. guys, I've not even told people that we didn't do the top room. We didn't want to. We want to come down here and rightly so. They probably are wondering what this is if they're Wait. standing in front of it. They've never seen a music box. Is there before. more than two of them? Is there, is there more than one person? Is there two? I don't know. I think it's one because when you said to stop to go to that one, it did. That's it's true. That's true. I think we've been talking to one person, especially the handprint. All right. You come back in? Right, I'm telling you, I'm about to walk out of yeah. here. Can you set this off, please? Now you've walked away from that, can you set that off? Oh, oh my God! How the... That's it. The most intelligent responses. Hats off. Hats <laughs> off. All right. All right. We're what else do we do now? Yeah, we're, I don't know. I'm done. Gonna, I want to talk to them. A real conversation. I'm going to shut the can, music box. Can off we tell you now? conversation. Re I've got a bit of a headache, though. I'm not going to lie. This video is the best. I've got, I have got a banging headache right here. I'm right, do you? Yeah. Could be, I might not have drank enough. Could be that. Or... They took, like, your energy. Like, actually. Yeah, Hang maybe. Alright, let's listen to that one we just played before. Really quick. Isn't it weird? W walking around, stuff. This is not going off still. Oh, then it goes off. Alright, we're going to play for real. We're going to start over now. We're listening. Right, please do not set any devices off. We, we want to try and talk to you. Okay. In my hand is a device that will allow you to speak to us. If we talked to you before, then you already know what this device is. Who are you? Can you not go upstairs? Are you trapped? Are you Japanese? Could you tell me and say Japanese through this device, please? Are you stuck on this floor forever? No device is going off. Well, I shut that off. I shut oh, yeah. that off. But yeah. the REM pod's not going off. <laughs> but we told them not to take it to go off. They're listening to Bro. us. <laughs> Amazing. I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah. I really don't. Okay. Okay. Are you stuck 
Colleen. Nothing. Nothing. But they were communicating like insane, the best ever, through these two. So I almost don't know if we're just talking to like, I don't know, maybe this was a little girl's room and I don't know. You just, you just don't know who we're talking to. It's because just, anyone here can set the devices off. Unless they just dipped. Nah. They just left. No, no way. No way they would have just go off that quick. I was to explain that. I mean, definitely can't explain it. It was the coolest ever. I've never had that happen. No, I might have had some very similar, but not these. these not are intelligent. The these are the hardest devices to go off. Dude, it was the best ever to see with the handprint and everything. I don't know. It was good. I don't know. I'm kind of like feeling like I'm okay to just even bounce now. Like I'm satisfied. Like I'm not scared. I no, not at all. And we, we were getting evidence that they were Pearl Harbor in there. It was all right. It was all good. I'm not, I keep asking, where are you, where you are? They're not really, you know, we had answers. I feel content with leaving. Yeah. Like, not just because, like, I'm okay. Like, I'm done. Like, I feel good enough to go home. Well, um, I feel like it's uh, a place that we would have to, when we're back in Japan, revisit because it's just too good. Like, the responses, and we come back with different equipment. That's the issue is yes. we're, we're using the same equipment, so it's kind of hard to do an investigation over and over with the same equipment. But if we came back with different equipment... Next time, maybe November or February next year. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, actually, there's one thing I want to ask. I want to ask what the dark energy is that people believe is okay, here. Okay, yeah, yeah. We didn't actually answer that. So let's do that, actually. I'm going to turn the devices back on and then ask, ask, uh, figure that one out. Let's turn that back on. Let's move it just in case. Move it where? Show people. This way? Yup, just like that to move it. Actually, and could you turn that camera to face us? Because yeah. I already have a camera on that that I can give you. Right, it's calibrating. Yep. Right. So, straight away. Straight away, someone's setting it off, bro. Oh, it's going again? Yeah, it's going again. Really, though? Yeah. We just moved it again, too. Right, we had it on in the living room, in the living area. Obviously, it stopped working for some reason. It's been on the stairs the whole time. Okay, never worked that, once. Then, yeah, it didn't go upstairs at all the whole time. Now look at it. So someone's standing in the doorway with us. <gasps> it just creaked. Like, it, like confirmed that he's in the doorway. The whole door would just fucking creep. Who is it? Can you can you come in here? Why are you stuck out there? Please come in. Please come in and turn that off. Yep. If you can come in and turn that off, and and turn this one back on, please. Please come in. Don't know. Konnichiwa. That was a tap from behind you. Okay. Now, now please. Oh my God. Bro. Now please come and set this one off, please, if you can. That would be a... They just don't. I don't know. They just love that one. But that means there's someone. In the, well, there's someone definitely out there. Unless, yeah. I just don't know if there's more than one. Is there? We're trying to. We want to oh, know oh. who's the evil one here. What's the bad energy? Is there bad energy, or is it just your superstition that the Japanese? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. What bad energy? Uh -huh. Can you hurt one of us? Is there? Can you do anything else other than set this one off? Can you set anything else off for us? Yeah, can you step away from that, please? Where's the bad luck? Do you need to be protected? Lights are box. Now bear in mind, guys, you have to stand in front of this box to set it off. Bro. Someone's just right here. I mean, remember it cracked. Did it a crack? Yeah, I heard the creak on the floor. All right, how about this? Last thing, last thing, and I'm leaving. I'm gonna play something for him. I'll play it right here, and you know I'm even gonna turn. I'll play it right here. 
Who's ever out here? Woman. Woman? Are you a woman? A female? Is there bad energy in this house? A bad omen? Is there a djinn haunting this land? Does a djinn keep people away? Why did three of you die in this house? And this is the last- We can affect you. We, we can affect you. Well, my back's a little bit sore, but I always, was hurting, I always get a bad back when you I'm said doing. Your head gross. was hurting, but yeah, it's not now, but it was here. That's what I mean. I think it's just getting old. Let's see. Clean again. Clean. It's just so strange. All right. You know, we're getting amazing stuff, but it's like, I'm okay. Yep. Like, I don't think there's anything evil like the town thought. I think who's ever here is just left here and they're just, that's it. They're trapped. Or they're, they don't know that they're dead or they're, they're just okay. I'm not sensing like scariness. They listen no, to us the it, whole night. It was at first when that guy turned around and was like, I'm behind you. That was scary. It was scary, but it wasn't like, it was like evil though. Mm. And, and everything we asked it to do, including the crazy handprint, they yeah, did. Yeah, that was crazy. They did. It wasn't like anything Tears. evil. But I just... It's just so strange because like, I've never had things like really truly oh. go off the way they have been doing. When you This was an amazing to, night. I yeah. Know. Yeah. Like to ask them to move, to ask them to do this and they just obey us like that. They're being nice. Remember the Japanese are nice and they always, you know, are helpful and stuff. It's just, I'm not sensing the evilness. Remember in Japanese superstition, if something's abandoned or, or this or that, they just assume it's scary. Yeah. And oh, because don't forget we do this for so long. How shy they are as well. And That's are. the thing. Yeah. Japanese are so shy. True. So they might not even want to talk to us. This guy's talking to us. Or girl. Oh, yeah, but whoever's in this room. True. Like yeah. setting off all these objects, but not saying anything on the device. What makes this video special, though, is it's not... It's the, some of the best evidence we ever got. But it's so intelligent. But it's also proven that... Being in the second room when nothing happened was the best thing that could happen because it just proved that everything works in our devices and this is the hot spot. True. And that's what makes this place special in this video good. I think I'm okay with this ghost investigation. I didn't really get much out of it and that's just maybe because of our, us, just, you know, we're in Japan, we don't have all our equipment, we're not, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Our, our questions maybe could have been better, I don't know, but regardless, we have enough to get out of it that stuff I wanted. Yeah, that's so true. So I'm happy. I'm happy. We could be here all day getting some of the best stuff, though, but I'm okay with it. Uh, you? I'm, bro, <laughs> no comment. I don't know what to say. Yeah, hell yeah. I don't know yeah. what to say anymore. Guys, how do you like this video? I really enjoyed it. I mean, this was some of the coolest stuff. It bro, really I was. thought the UK A was dumb. A good spirit. A good spirit. Yo. Yo, it's just... Oh, my God. It's like... It's... Listen, it's... That's what I'm saying. This is... This is why I take this this app out. Friends, your family, 
everything you want. This is the this is the best video. I, show everyone seriously. Thank you, whoever's been talking to us, and I know you are a good spirit. I mean, we we cleared it. They just wanted to hang out and talk and chill. It wasn't anything bad. And I appreciate you. I love Japan. I love Japan too. <laughs> he loves Japan too. We flew here a long way. If you know what a plane are, whatever. Yeah, of course you know what planes are. Anyways, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Seriously, like and subscribe, and we mean a lot. We are getting out of here. It is spooky, but it's just because of our minds and stuff like that. I mean, really, we. It doesn't have to always be evil, like the way YouTube videos can be or are. It's, this is legit. We make legit videos. We don't fake anything. <laughs> band, oh yeah. So now we gotta back up everything. Walk memory cards, pray. All right, we're out. We no, have no. To, you know, take showers or fucking back it up. It's gonna take quite a bit. I'm yeah, gonna... sounds good. But then, you know, if you go to bed for say, we'll get late. Maybe we should just ask for late checkout, like eleven. Yeah, we probably should try. Ask for eleven late checkout. Get some tape. Yeah, because yo, I woke up at ten, and no joke, I had a hard time getting out. <laughs> I really did. Oh, I feel like it's something just fucking on my head, man. Fucking it feels like it. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. oh shit, someone's guarding. Fuck this way. Okay, we made it out of that dense little woodland. It's amazing to think in the center of this little woodland lies one of the most haunted houses in Japan. So yes, we made it out and now we are gonna go and have a small interview with Dave on what he saw when that bulb dropped out and, and how he was feeling, etc. Um, I did say we, we'd do a little interview. I know this video is super long, but I tried to have as little cuts as possible for the full experience. Plus, because there's only four Haunted Japan videos, I wanted to extend them as much as possible. Uh, let me know if you want us to go back to Japan and do more Haunted. Obviously, we're going back to Japan, but should we do more Haunted? Let me know down below. Dave, for you, when you went inside the house, how was it for you and what you were feeling? Like, seriously, as soon as me and Steve turned up, we went in there and straight away there was a bang creaking noises and we it took us about 20 minutes to even go inside and film this place it was such a weird feeling then me and steve split up we decided what part of the house we're going to film i walked into the main living area and i was moving around filming stuff i picked this horse up this bronze horse up put it on the table and honestly i couldn't even reach the light if i wanted to and it was so far away the bulb literally clear as day dropped out as i panned the camera around it just dropped and smashed on the side Straight out, honestly. This beautiful horse. It's actually thick bronze. Gee. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, the weight of it. Fuck, man. What you do? I literally just caught that on camera. <laughs> what? Fucking bolt. Third one, like the distance right over there, there's no way. There's literally no way, dude, you can reach that bolt. And you don't think when you moved the horse, it vibrated and shook the house where the light fell? 
<laughs> I know the house was falling down, but obviously it's a lot more solid than that. Okay. The bulb was so black as well, where you're looking at the broken glass. So, so it was in there for so long anyways, it wasn't yeah, going to move. The way it just popped out and fell down. Well, I was thinking, what if what if that horse that you moved, the person of the house didn't like it or it's attached to something? That's the thing. I, I just, maybe I shouldn't have touched the horse. I don't know. Oh, my God. But it was after the horse as well. It was creaking and so many stuff. It was just loads going on. Mm. Even a screwdriver rolled out near Stephen. What? Yeah.